online, all live with you uh, as we finish the word on today. We do not take it for granted. We thank God for every opportunity. Well, we ask that you would just, uh, if this is your very first time of being a part of our services, we ask that you go to our website, which is www.relentlessglobalchurch.org, and we ask that you will press the guest icon right there. We will ask you to fill in the information and we will respond to you in a more personal way. But we ask everyone in house as well as online, you can just get your device and press the share button and we would love to minister to your family, your friends, and your loved ones and your circle of influences. So we know that the word is going to be good because it was awesome at a 30. Yeah. We are looking to, to share the word with you on today. Jesus name. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you glory. And we give you the honor today to do your name. Now, as the prophet of the house, Lord God, we declare and decree, allow not my words to fall to the ground. But allow the word of the living God to be precious seed, sown into the hearts of we, your believers, Lord, that we may honor you and be witnesses in this earth in the last day and in this last generation. That we can spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to save mankind from their sins. Yes, Lord. Lord, we vow to give you alone the glory and the honor. Heal today. Yes. Restore today. Yes, Make whole today. Yes. Every area of our lives because we are the kingdom of God. Yes. And we love you today love because you. you first loved us. Yes. We declare the decree in Jesus' name. All that agree shall amen. 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 Luke chapter 22, verse 31. And we can hold that. Luke chapter 22, verse 31. We've been talking about faith. And uh, uh, we probably got one more lesson on it. But we've been talking about faith. And we've been declaring the importance and the value of it. And at the end of the day, it comes down to this, people of God. You're going to only overcome by your faith. Yes. Now, faith in the shortest version I can give you is to speak the word of God and believe. Right, yeah. That's what faith is. It's to speak the word of God and believe what you think. Now, it, it amazes me how Christians, and I'm talking about the saints, I'm not talking about the Catholics, the Presbyterians, and everybody else out there, just those that have called on the name of the Lord, we, as Christians, it just baffles my mind how many people I talk to and counsel about their marriages, their finances, their health, and whatever it is that's going on with you. And I'll ask the same question, Anthony. Have you confessed God's word? No. <laughs> Have you prayed about this situation? Not real. <laughs> Have you fasted? No, sure. Not me. If you ain't doing another two, you ain't fasting. <laughs> No, you're not giving, you're not turning over the plate and believing God for absolutely nothing. So not that. There are things you and I must do. Amen. Jesus has done everything that Jesus is going to do for you. When he died on the cross, he said it's finished. When he rose from the dead, he went back to heaven. He's sitting on the right hand of the Father, ever living to make an intercession on our behalf. So Jesus is not going to get up off of his throne, throne and do anything or do any more for you. Because he gave us the entire kingdom of God. All right? Now, what do we do with it? We declare and decree our life by what we speak. The word of God is not the word, even in your mouth. So faith is this. is to speak God's word and believe what you said about your marriage. It is to speak God's word and believe what you said about your health. It is to speak God's word and believe that your child is going to college and God's going to pay for it by the time they graduate. You have to believe it. Yes. So God used words to create his world. God stepped out of darkness into darkness and said, Light be and light was. Jesus spoke to trees. Jesus spoke to winds. Jesus spoke to water. Jesus spoke to demons. Jesus spoke to his situation and what he said came to pass. And just like God, use words 
to create and declare what animals were. God brought every animal and every bug, every thief, every bird across Adam. And what Adam called it, that's what it was. Right. And if that's true, and it is, then what are you calling your wife? Right. Mm. What are you calling your husband? Mm. What are you calling your children? Mm. What are you calling your future? Yeah. Because yeah. death yeah. and life are in the power of my tongue. Watch this, people of God. I am in control. Mm -hmm. I am in the driver's seat. I'm the one flying the plane. Not God, not the devil, not my mama, not my cousin. It's me. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, then we find out that the centurion, just hold there, the centurion who spoke to Jesus yeah. had a revelation of his own authority because the centurion knew he had the authority and he said to Jesus, I also. Yeah, Equal with Jesus. Right. I'm under authority. I tell one to go and they go. I tell one to come and they come. So Jesus, since I understand who I am, mm -hmm. you don't have to come to my house. Right. <laughs> you gotta understand how powerful it is. Yeah. I'm in Houston, Texas. I got family in Little Rock, Arkansas. I can send a word. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All I gotta do is believe. What I said. Amen. All I got to do is send the word. Yes. He said, send the word only. Yeah. Not your doubt, not your unbelief. Send the word of God, and my servant shall be made whole. Send the word only, and my debts are canceled. Send the word only, and I'm healed by the strength of Jesus. Send the word only. Yes. Yes. And my servant shall. Yes. I'm trying to get down to his servant. His servant was up walking around ready to serve. And they asked, about what time did he begin to amend? About the same time that Jesus said the word. <laughs> and you can't be afraid. You can't be embarrassed. You can't be ashamed to tell everybody in their mouth, I'm blessed. Y'all keep watching me. Keep up. I'm telling you, you'll be coming to me more to borrow money. Keep watching. Come on. You'll be coming to me ask me what all, Pastor. What all? We got the fellowship yesterday. Mind our own business to just have a good time and, and by the time everybody got through dancing, we had fun, they food and had a good fellowship, laughed and drank. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we just had a wonderful time. At the end of it, most people had left. And again, see you got to decide. I can't understand how faith works. Because it's faith. It's like Jesus. It's an ever-present help. It's always with me. It's always in me because I'm anointed. I'm a faith man. I believe what the, what, what the Lord says about me and who I am. So we all clean up and get ready to go and all that kind of good stuff. And the couple who uh, use their, what's the place called? Clubhouse. They live in the neighborhood and they allow all churches to come into their clubhouse and use their name. And so beautiful facility. Had a wonderful time. And they were just talking, all of a sudden we found out that the man who's our host who helped us to get there, he had a situation with his lungs. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and he used to sing with the Tabernacle Mass Choir in New York. Mm -hmm. But he had to stop because he had issues, health issues with his lungs, so he mm -hmm. couldn't sing any longer. Mm -hmm. And then I saw, I just stood there and said, well, why don't we just pray and believe God? Amen. Amen. Because faith is always now. 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 Amen. So a group of us got together and just prayed for the brother. That's it. We believe we receive. We lay hands on him, believe that God will heal his body, make him whole. And I don't doubt God that God will give him his voice back so he can live his dream. Amen. Right. Amen. What did it cost us to do that? Nothing. Look how she I didn't give him a card and say, come to church. I didn't tell him try to hustle up another member from another church. Free to you, free to you have received, free to give. Amen. Amen. Because faith works by love. faith works by love. love. So you got to start caring about people. Mm -hmm. Now, the tower of the centurion, speak the word on the tower of Babel was built by words. Mm -hmm. Evil men came together and they said, mm -hmm. by words, mm -hmm. we're going to build a tower, and they built it. So much so that God said, let us go down and look and see what's going on. They got God's attention by their words. It's no different than the pyramids in Egypt. Somebody said, let's build it, and they built it. And thousands of years later, they stand based on 
from somebody's words. words. And what legacy are you going to leave? Doubt, mm -hmm. unbelief, mm -hmm. scared, running, running scared like a dog with your tail between your legs if you don't have no faith to rise up and be a doctor, be a lawyer, be a doctor, be whatever you choose to be. Because mm -hmm. nothing hinders you but you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They built the town about Luke, give me Luke 6 and 45. Let's just go to the Luke 6 and 45. Amen. Out of the abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. your heart is filled with the word. Amen. Illustration. You get up at night, Amen. go to the bathroom, house is dark, but you bump your, hand, your foot into the door or to the wall by accident. Mm -hmm. What comes out of you? <laughs> it's what's in you. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If you're afraid, your mouth will speak. If you're in faith, your mouth will speak. For out of the, the bottom part, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What have you been speaking about your life? Because that's what you're full of. That's why some folks, when they go through stuff, you can curse and scream because that's what they're full of. Yeah. You hear desperation because that's what they're full of. Yeah. You hear fear and anger because that's what they're filled with. Jesus said it like this. He said, "Stop what comes into a man." That's what he said. That's right. That's right. That is so deep. It's not what goes in. It's what comes out. Yes. So out of the abundance of the heart, what's coming out of you is what's defining your life. Yes. If you look at your life right now and look at what you have produced and you don't like it, change your word. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And that's what faith is. Let's go to Psalms 103 20. Psalms 103 20. Now, everybody say words matter. Words matter. You know it's true because God used it. Mm -hmm. You know it's true because Jesus used it. Yeah. Alright? So watch this. A good man, and I say I'm a good man. A good, good man. man. Okay, bless the Lord. And if you play with me, that was pretty cool how you did that. <laughs> if I say I'm a good man. I'm a good man. man. But I'm blessed. Yes. Because I say so. Yes. I say so. so. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Because I say so. Because I say so. Now watch this. Bless the Lord, O ye his angels. So clearly, angels exist. Yes. Right? Yes. They're in the realm of the spirit. Yes. And there are millions, if not billions, of them. Right. But they excel in strength. What's the purpose of their strength? To do God's word. How? Heeding to the voice, voice of his word. Yeah. Notice, not God, yeah. not Jesus, the word. Are y'all with me? Yes. It's not God saying it. It's whoever gets involved with the word, send the word only. Yeah. Angels hearken to the word. Yeah. If you believe that it exists and it's true, then you speak what you desire because I don't desire growth, I desire blessing. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to only Amen. speak to give them something to do. Yes. Because they move when you speak and declare the voice yes. Yes. of his word. Yes. So angels are at work on your behalf. Stop crying. Stop complaining. Get yourself together. Get a word from God. Confess it and send your angels. And as that right now, I declare in Jesus' name that the angels of the Lord speak and minister to the attorneys having our situation. Yeah. Only for those who declare 
Y'all believe that? Yes. Yes. Now, let's go to this. Luke 22, 31. Today's lesson is entitled, True Faith Produces. True Faith, it will produce for you. You just have to listen, 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 listen. listen. You're going to have to calm down. You're going to have to calm your mind, calm your body. You're going to have to learn to meditate. There's got to be a time in your life where you got to turn off the TV, the radio, the husband, the wife, the kids, the game shows, TikTok. Come on, help me with these other Yeah, Facebook, 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 Listen to me, and I'm so sincere, I, I'm going to slow down. Because i got to make a to you to get you to understand. These, they, there are so many things in this world, the purpose of them, a lot of these things are good things. And I'm not saying everything out there is evil thing or bad thing. Right. But so many things control the thoughts of your mind to where it distracts you from the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Because it amazes me, Anthony, how I can talk to a marriage couple like I did on yesterday, and the hours people stay on TikTok and I say confess the word of God for 15 minutes, they won't do it. Mm. What's amazing how we can struggle? For an hour to look at something that's not even real. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And this. Yeah. And believe. And then being. Looking at the Kardashians and the lives of the women and all these other folks about lives that they are living that produces no faith. Now you look at what you want to look at. I'm not, I'm not here to judge that. What I'm saying to you is, sooner or later, you've got to stop looking at their lives and look at your own. Right. And judge yourself as you need judge. Because there are things we got to correct. Now, watch this. Clearly, there's a man of God that Jesus loves. His name is Peter. <laughs> the very idea that the devil is asking permission to test him or to sift him like we means that there's something on his life that the yes. devil wants. Yes. That's right. Wow. Yes. Because he specifically asked for Peter. Uh -huh. Why not John? Uh -huh. Why not Bartholomew? Uh -huh. Why not James? Yeah. He specifically asked for Peter. Why? This is what I believe. Peter, in his future, because the devil is in the realm of the spirit who can see your future. Mm -hmm. That's good, Pastor. And he knows that Peter is a disciple of Christ, but he's about to be promoted to apostle. Uh -huh. Not bishop, not evangelist, not, not pastor teacher, apostle, the highest rank. In, in, in that level, it's the highest rank, it's apostleship. Now, Peter don't know that yet. Because Peter doesn't have enough faith to see the yard where he is. He can only see this thought. But your faith opens the eyes of your understanding to see from here to there. Peter can't see that far yet. Let me prove it to you. The Bible says, say this as that verse. Say this as you. I pray to you that your faith, so it's his faith that's on the line. Yeah. Watch this. Not his house, he already had one. Not his car, he already had. Not his children, he had that. Not his wife, he had one. Uh -huh. Not his business, mm -hmm. he had two or three. Come on, come on. What was saved after? His yeah. calling. Yeah. That's received by what? Faith. Yeah. He didn't want him to know his future. Mm -hmm. Many of you, mm -hmm. you got to understand why the man has death. It's not the marriage. Mm -hmm. He wants to steal your future. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your son's going through this, your daughter's going through that. It's a distraction. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To get you distracted. Mm -hmm. I'm so worried about my son, I can't focus on my car. Mm -hmm. Well, Lord, well, 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 not if you return, when you return. Appreciate Look at the faith of Jesus. I believe yeah. you so much, Peter, that I know God's going to turn your life around and you'll come back to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same. That's it. Yes. But when he said this uh, to him, but he said to him, Peter, says Jesus, Lord, I am ready. But he wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he he wasn't ready. To do what? To go to prison <laughs> and to even die for you. But he wasn't ready to do that. Uh -huh. He just said he was, but he was not ready. Yeah. See, <laughs> we're not going to know where you really stand in your faith until the heat turns up. Amen. 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 Until death 
death comes out to know your door, fight for your door. Come on now. Then we're going to know if you believe. Yeah. Until the pressure is turned up, he says he leaves. We're going to find out what you believe. Yeah. Your son says, I'm dead. I got a boyfriend now. We're going to truly find out what you believe. Can life happen? Yeah. Not those the church that's talking. Not those the church that's Jesus, Jesus. Now, all right, we don't know your Jesus. If your Jesus is alive and well in you, we're going to find out. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pastor, how do you know he wasn't ready? Because Jesus said, Peter, let me tell you where you really are in your faith. Uh-huh. Before the cock crow. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all these high, 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 Listen, man. I'm not against you praising your God. I'm not against you running the dance. I'm not. I'm not against none of that. But when the pressures of life is turned up, yeah. all that shouting and talking to and all the stuff you've been doing, you better have to do some faith. Yeah. Because the only thing that's gonna cause you to overcome sickness and disease, death, challenges of life, is your ability stand up to and tell it no. You can't have me, my child, and anything else in my life. Right. Yes. You don't deny me three times. Well, we already know what happened. Yes. He denied him he three denied times. Three times. There's a certain script, I believe, in John, where the Bible says that they caught eyes. Mm-hmm. When Jesus was on the cross, and Peter was down there high. And they caught each other's eyes. Like, mm-hmm. That lets you know Peter was close enough to the yes, yes, yes. to see each other. Right. When they caught each other in the eyes, mm-hmm. Peter ran away sorrowful. Yeah. Yes. Because his faith was too strong. He couldn't handle the pressures of life. And the reason why we can't, and we fail it, and we quit, and we walk away from relationships, we walk away from businesses, we walk away from children, is because it's your faith. Yes, ma'am. It's your faith. It's got to grow. Yes. Because I'm here to tell you, no matter who you are, no matter your color, your race, your background, your economic status, life is going to come knocking at your door. Yes. And can you handle opening up the door and dealing with what's on the outside? Because yes. that's going to happen to everybody. Yes. And the scripture clearly says it rains on the just as well as the unjust. Life is going to happen. Can you stand the rain? Yes. Can you handle it? <laughs> you will deny me three times. Yeah. Now, he denied Luke 18 and 8. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? So he's praying for Peter that it's your faith that I want to sustain you. Galatians 5 and 6. Faith works by love. Galatians 5 and 6. Faith works by love. Religious local churches where? Oh, That's on purpose. Yeah, that's intentional. Everybody say why? Why? Because if you don't have love in your heart, mm-hmm. your faith will not work. Well. So this is why I said at the eight thirty service. I said at this service, you got to check your heart. Like 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 yes, Michelle was saying, she was just to set your house in order. Yes. You got to set your house in order. That you got to look at your own life and judge you. Well. Now if you have somebody in your heart from your past, past marriage, past divorce. Past ex boyfriend, girlfriend, a past business that failed. My mother didn't love me enough. My dad didn't love me enough. I, I had an uncle who molested me. I had, a, I had somebody who touched me the wrong. Listen, I get it. Life happens. I understand. And I'm sensitive to your issue. But if I, as a man of God, don't tell you the truth, if you don't forgive those who have hurt you, you are blocking your life. It's not God blocking you. It's not the ten beings that are blocking you. No. It's you blocking you because faith works by love. Your heart cannot be blocked up with Jethro. That's right. Uh, Clarence Clyde, Juliet, <laughs> <laughs> Shamiqua, you know, all these folks. Listen to me. You cannot have these people in your heart. The worst cases I've ever seen is people mad at their folks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Absolutely preaching. People are upset with folks that have been there 10 years. Mm-hmm. 10 years. Jesus. I'm the one that has been on this grave. That don't do people. <laughs> what is that going to do? <laughs> it's your faith. Glory. I prayed for the men last week in order to every man's hand with all because the Lord revealed to me that the Spirit being released in the earth, especially an attack against men, mm-hmm. the, the good godly men. And it's a, it's, a, it's a demonic deception. Yeah. It's a distraction. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah. You think it's your wife, but it's really your faith. Mm-hmm. Right. Come on. Come on. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. You think it's 
your children. It's not your children. It's your faith. You think it's your finances. I'm going to tell you, brother. It ain't your finances. It's your faith. The devil was not after Peter's house and law. He was after his faith so he could walk into his destiny. Mm -hmm. These people are just in financial wealth. That's not your destiny. Your destiny brings financial wealth. You just got to get into your purpose in life. Many folks are so sad, Anthony. Folks just don't know. But see, you got to get along with God to figure that out. Okay, what's Thank this? you, Lord. Faith works by love. Now, number one, your faith produces love. Number two, your faith produces evangelism. Watch this scripture. Acts chapter 8, verse 26. We just have to talk about angels, right? Yes. Angels can speak to you. Mm -hmm. Angels can appear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, let me give an example. Now, man. Angels. Come on, church. Angels. Now, man. Angels. Of the Lord. Spoke to, to Philip. Now, Philip is a regular guy. Now, he eventually, this promotes him to the evangelist. But at the time of writing, he was just a regular Christian who just simply loved God. God. That's it. No calling, no anointing. I'm just in the Lord and I'm going on about my business until the angel speaks. Mm. The beauty of it is he can hear. Yes. Yes. The angel spoke to Philip, arise, go towards the south along the road, and goes down to Jerusalem, Gaza, they first. And then the Bible says, So he rose up and went, and behold, a man of black folk. Uh -huh. Now let me let, let, let Relentless go to church. Is a cult, cult of many colors. Yes. Religious over church has Hispanics, white folk, black Amen. folk that are members of this church. Amen. So you got to hear my heart when I say this, but I got to open up a truth yeah. so you can see it so we can all walk into this. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Clearly, Ethiopians are people of color. Right. Yes. Now, watch what I, I, I guarantee you, Anthony, you've never heard of this revelation. I asked him to pray, and the Lord revealed this to me. Watch what happened. A black man. Who's a unit? Mm -hmm. And he had, and this was 2,000 years ago. He already had money, power, and great authority. That's right. Mm -hmm. Great. great. Now, watch this. I'm under Candace. Look it up. Candace was the queen over Cush, uh -huh. which is translated Ethiopia. Yeah. And then, when you study the history, the Roman Empire, the greatest of all the empires, fought against Candace and lost. Oh, lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. a black woman in the Bible dared <laughs> to believe God. Yeah. How do you know, Pastor, that she believed in Jehovah? Watch the scripture. Uh -huh. yep. Under Kansas, the queen of Ethiopia, Cush, who had charged all of her treasury, the eunuch was over her money and came to Jerusalem mm. to worship. Wow. Yeah. That was before America was created. Well, that was before racism became an issue. Yeah. That was before America lied to you. Yeah. 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 About who you are and where you come from. Yeah. Because you got folk that already got the money and the power. But watch this. They knew that Jehovah was God. How do you know that they believed it? They came to Jerusalem to give. Why did she need her treasure to travel? Mm. Because they came to give. Yes. Amen. Because every believer in Jehovah knows that you don't come before God in the end. This was before. Your history books have been lying to you. Yeah. And that's why we got to step outside the box. Mm. And we got to get God's word for ourselves. Because you can clearly go to the library in Conroe, Spring, and Houston and find Candace in the history books and not mm. To prove and to confirm that what God said here is true. Yeah. Amen. That's good. Amen. 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 All right. Now, watch the rest of this verse. Because my point I'm making is evangelism. Watch this. Next verse. And they were returning back to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And now the unit who had great authority and power mm -hmm. was really Isaiah the prophet. Here's the question. How did he get a cup? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. See, we don't need it. Mm-hmm. Where in the world you can't just go to the room and go into the temple of the priest and just pick up a book? Mm-hmm. Because they're sacred. Yeah. Priests will sacrifice their lives mm-hmm. to protect the scroll. Yeah. Yeah. How did he get a copy and put it in the chariot to read it? She's a king, she's a queen, she's a princess, she has great wealth, yeah. yeah. and she yeah. probably asked her spies to go for, get permission from the priest. Can we yeah. just look at the scroll yes. right on our own set yeah. so we can have our version of God's word yeah. and take it back to Ethiopia yeah. so that the people of God can have the word? Yeah. Isaiah came before Christ. Yeah. Lord, yeah. 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 
shall be revived. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. But the point I'm making with that is God didn't make God may not call all of us to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's something you can do. Yes. You can pray. Amen. Yes. You can ask God to bring people across my path in my life that I can minister to. Yeah. That's something you can do. Okay. See yeah. something else you can do. If the least you can do is pray for your family. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Because Judy's going through a tough time. Yes, Your least going through a tough time. Yes. The least you can do is pray yes. on their behalf. Lord, yes. open the eyes of the understanding of Christine. Yes. Open the eyes of the understanding of George yes. and Michael and Craig and all the rest of your family. Yes. Call them by their yes. name. Yes. Send the angels of the Lord to their home and yes. declare and decree they're saved. They'll be with the Spirit. Yes. Lord, I know you can do it. I don't doubt it because I believe you can save your other. Yes. Yes. Why did you do that? Here, he's the evangelist. So, number one, your true faith. See, we think it's a house, we think it's a car, we think it's this, that, and other. Listen, faith can produce the natural thing. Remember, I said balance. Balance your natural world, balance your spiritual world, they got a balance. So, it's not an over of either one. It's a balance of both so we can do what? Right. Okay? With that being said, number one is love, number two, is evangelism. Number three is fruit. Let's look at that. Now, before we go there, let me give another example of evangelism. Let's go to John 4 39. Yes. John 4 39. This is a story of a Samaritan woman. Now, again, history. You got to know history to understand the scriptures more clearly. The Samaritans were a mixed breed of people. They were mixed with a whole lot of the world, but they were also mixed with Jewish blood. Now, under this system, when the scripture was written, the Jews hated the Samaritans, so it's racism at the time. Mm -hmm. The reason why they hated them because they were a mixed breed of people. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what Jesus said is by Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. I must needs go through Samaritans. Samaritan. Uh -huh. So Holy Spirit doesn't know, I got to go through Samaritans. Mm -hmm. the, they get to Samaria, the disciples go into the city to get food because they were traveling all the time, so Jesus is sitting at the park over there relaxing. Mm -hmm. And there's a woman of Samaria who's coming to get some water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Jesus is sitting there and says, will you give me some water? Mm -hmm. Watch the racism. She already knew. Mm -hmm. How are you a priest, a prophet, because this whole, because you, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. The priests and teachers wore certain clothes to identify who they were. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell you, Jesus was clean. Yeah. 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 Jesus was a priest, he was wealthy, he was sharp. Mm -hmm. Well. So he's a priest, he's a prophet, he's a man of God. Yeah. So she clearly sees him and knows he's Jewish. Mm -hmm. So she says these words, how are you, a Jew, asking me, a woman of Samaria, for a drink of water? Mm -hmm. When Jews have no dealing racism uh -huh. with the Samaritans. Yeah. What does Jesus respond and says? There's water I have. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Because if you knew who it was that's speaking to you, yeah. see, 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 the Holy Spirit will walk through the church right now. There'll be people on one side be scrolling to their phone, two and us. Don't be no know that God just walked in. Mm. Then there'll be others. Oh my God, He's here because of the level of faith to yes. see. Yes. 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 It's called the spirit of discernment. Yes. Yes. She's blind to truth. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the word of God produces faith that opens up your eyes. Right now she's talking to the Messiah of the world yeah, yeah. that don't have a clue. Wow. And there's so many of us at home, there's so many of us in the church that the man of God can stand up and declare the truth and it goes straight over your head Jesus. because your faith is so little. Yeah. That's why you gotta go home and study it for yourself. Yeah. A one hour session with me doesn't do much for you. It's your ability to have a hunger and a thirst for this word to go after it for yourself. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 So he says to her, Where's your husband? But she said up to half five. Really, she done had six. Yeah. And the lady you went nine is not your husband. So you shine. I can see you. You're a prophet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now she knows he can see. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So he tells her. He tells her about her life. They talk about a question about the water.
water, not natural water, but spiritual water, which is actually salvation. Yeah. If you drink of this water, you'll never thirst again. So it's not natural water, natural water, you'll thirst. Yeah. Spiritual water, you're satisfied. I'm telling you, it's bigger than what I'm saying to you. Yeah. When she receives what he says by word, yes. she instantly gets saved. Mm. Yes. She instantly becomes the evangelist. Mm. She runs into the city yeah. and tell all the men yeah. leaders. Yeah. They obviously believe it. Yeah. They obviously an anointing on her yeah. because they follow her to see about a man yeah. who told me all that I did. Yeah. Watch this, say for God. So when the Samaritans had come to Jesus, him, they urged him to stay, and he stayed for two days. Why did they urge him to stay? Because like Mary and Martha, Martha did not respect and honor the word, but Mary did. And Jesus told Mary, what was given to Mary would not be taken away from her, because she chose the good words. She chose the words over serving. Here, they heard the word in this verse. They heard the word from Jesus himself. And what happened after they received the word? And many more believed because of his own word. word. God spoke his word and it came to pass. Jesus spoke his word and it came to pass. Why are you speaking anything other than saying the word on Because this is true faith. That's just about that. This is true faith. True faith is to accept what I'm telling you to be true. Go home and study it for yourself and then declare and decree. Because the word of God is not it's near you. It's so close, close, it's as close as your head is going. If you dare to believe what God says, it will not take you two years to come out again. Here's God says this morning. I'm talking about the kingdom of God is so powerful. Your husband will show up and you will be shot. Jesus said. 
And Jesus told the rich young ruler to sell all they had. They said, yeah. they, well, who then can be who? Who then can be saved? Yeah. There's no need to say that when you broke. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There's no yeah. need for the disciples to even utter a word. Yeah. They only said that because they already had financial means. Oh, yeah. So why did Jesus call them? Because it wasn't the finances Jesus was after. It was for them to use their faith to rise up to apostleship so they can go to the end of the world. And the scripture says like this. Once they understood who they were by faith, they were able to turn the world upside down. Oh, How long are you going to keep standing in this place you are and complaining about it? When are you going to dare to believe what God said and start declaring the word of God? Get a vision for your life. Set your house in order. Stop doing the things you know you don't need to be doing. So you can rise to a level of faith. You don't need the angel to tell you everything, but there are some things you know you shouldn't be doing right now. Yeah. So set your house in order. Yes, sir. Go home and pray. Yeah. Husband and wife. Go home and believe God. Stop complaining about your life and put your hands in the living God. Amen. 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 Because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to end 2023 going into 2024 the same. Amen. I'm not going to. And if you do yourself, you do, you do more disrespect to yourself Amen. by coming to this house and hearing the word of God to go home and do nothing. Amen. Amen. Do nothing. I'm, I'm telling y'all, most pastors are going to say it like this. You do better going to the rockets end. Mm -hmm. At least I can have me a beer, eat some nachos, and enjoy my hour or two, and have a good time. Then to come to church and get the word of faith, so go home and do nothing, and my life never change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your life, your life is so close to you that the word of God says it's not the easy in your in your mind. Your next breath is eternal. Yes. 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 When we get 2024, I'll see in 2025. Get through with 2025 because we're in Jesus. Yeah. I'll see in 2026. You're going to have to have the word. Don't tell me about don't tell me about you what your mother did. Then I do. Do you have a word? word. Because the woman with the issue of blood said it to us. Yes, she did. Yes, yes, yes. I so love that story because there are certain things in this walk of faith mm. you're gonna have to do it. Yes. There's there, there, there some things in this walk you can have to prove to God. I'm selling the whole lot for you, Jesus. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. If my family go, fine. They don't go back. Well, that's what we in my house. Yeah. Yes, Lord. We yes, have to go back. Hey, we don't sell it. Hey, we don't sell it. Quit looking at your, your checkbook. Quit looking at your account 24 hours a day. Stop doing that. No. Come on, ain't that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you look at it. They got five more times on the screen. So what do we do? Get a word. Yes. Believe God. Let's fast. Yes. Yes. Let's pray. Yeah. Let's leave God to open up some doors. Yeah. Let's go back to work. Let's go back to school. Yeah. Yeah. In the valley. Yeah. Like spiritual side. Yeah. Yeah. Get up and fill out an application. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. So we got to keep sitting around here waiting on the government. Yeah. 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 We're not going to leave anybody. My life is in my hands. Yeah. 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 I want you to know, I will, in this ministry, I will never allow you to be me on. I will never allow you to be down here. Thank you. Thank you. Because thank you. Thank you. One, thing, one thing God don't work, and I'll tell you one thing I really just can't stand, is whining, crying, and complaining to people. Now, you may get one out of me. <laughs> I'm going to give you about 30 minutes. <laughs> After that 30 minutes, dry your tears. Straight up your shoulders, get your attitude together. Now let's get together, let's pray, let's believe. So you got to stand here. No, no, no. No. That's right. You know what ultimately, I got two things. You know what ultimately, ultimately destroyed the children of Israel coming out of uh, uh, the Red Sea? Mm -hmm. And it was the case for here, that, that, that was a 12 day journey for how many days, Dr. Kenny? 
How many days was it? From Egypt, 11 day journey, from Egypt to the promised land. What's it, 11 days? That's right. 11 days. That's right. How did they turn that into 40 years? They never grew their faith. Right. How do you know they didn't go their faith? When, 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 we ain't got no more. Don't you faithful God? 
Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on this coming Wednesday. God bless you all. Thank you. In Jesus' name.